Deianera, standing in front of the house of Heracles, with an elderly nurse and a chorus of Trachinian maidens. Deianera. On their sententious memories, centuries impressed this precept, cited anciently, is current now with men. Let none assay a mortal's lot to deem it good or bad until he's dead. But sure I am before interment under Hades' dirt that mine is dour and tenebrious, not lightly borne. While yet my father Oenidas shrouded me in... Thou dourest in Walios, driven fell, undid, O Chalia, solacing the queen. Her mind, relieved by vanquishment, from hell is lifted. Sure the greatest will it be. Alcides, come, Celeritus by sea. In Pentaconter advent, not one stroke delayed, with strenuous oars on Trachus be resolved, who should your steadful hearth invoke. Alcides, bodily concupiscent, in marriage come, enwrapped with licorice persuasion in the robe, on love intent, aroused by the anointed impetus. Enter Dianera. Women of Trachus, overdone, I fear, my care for you, not kept in measure with my fate. What weighs you down, O noble Dianera? I know not what this may portend. May be found of terrible avail, my good for you. You do not mean your gift to Heracles. I do, and never will advise upon incertitude commencement of a deed. What, blessed lady, can you tell of dread? Such a phenomenon outright occurred. My friends, that were I to report it, nothing but desperate inauspiciousness you would avow, for the whole flock of labored wool by which the festal robe was lately daubed has flared away, betimes not meant to burn, but self-consumed, dissolving on the stones therein. Narration of this rarity should not be short, that you may see in full what clearly passed. All that the centaur said, when in his side the hardest shaft had fixed, was in my mind distinguished like a law upon a city tablet graven, fit to be 